Uh, if you down smash on Steve against Hero Shield, you will in fact get hit. So it's, it's just like, it's like, is that even like, like and, why? You know what? Hey, is okay. Are you doing the thing where it's like true to the game, where it's like, did in Persona, right? Did when Joker like shot his gun? Did it ever get reflected? Can it get reflected? I don't in think the game? so. I don't think it ever got bounced back in the game. Ah. Hmm. Oh, it can. Oh, so oh. <gasps> You're right. Oh, so oh yeah. yeah. No, they, they, so they, 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 they didn't try. They didn't try. But they didn't try. It's fine. They're, they don't mean more accurate to Persona Five. It's completely I, I, arbitrarily fine. I was just wondering. I, that's what I was asking. I wasn't stating. You know, I didn't know. Uh, I, I don't. I don't recall that ever happening. But what I do recall is, of course, going to finally top twenty-four. Peko versus LRA Star. We're going to top twenty-four review. We're going to talk about it. Uh, Peko LRA Star up right here on deck. Wolf versus uh, Diddy Kong. Pego always can go with Diddy Kong and nice little short hop from the ledge in order to avoid that. A, a nice honorable matchup that we're seeing right mm -hmm. now. A nice, a nice. Nice. <laughs> 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 nice honorable, honorable. honorable. top tiers. Top tiers? <laughs> oh, um, I mean, Diddy. Loki broken. Yeah. Loki. High key. Loki. High, high key. I'm not, I'm not spitting nothing. I'm not going to say Diddy Kong players suck, but like, you know, high key. But Heike, command grab, right, right. But Peko's not one of them. Peko's nice. No, Peko's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For the record, today. don't, don't, uh, Larry Lur, you know. Larry Lur knows. <laughs> okay. Like, Peko, Peko's chill. Peko has a midterm, too, yeah. uh, by I, that, that's, three that's, hours. That's an insane story. That's what I heard, I heard he was taking it. Yeah, he has five, he has five questions left. But he has, like, 5% left to let's kill Larry right let's now. Let's go online class. Um, yeah, and, he, okay, try, try to get the side B with the up B explosion. Um, but yeah, yeah. oof. Yeah, LRA start taking that first off. Yeah, try and pressure on ledge, and LRA's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna get hit by this, and I'm gonna get by that as well, I'm gonna lose my stock. But it's okay, Eden stocks right now, 5% only on Peko. Definitely doable in the round possibility. Drop my banana into the, the back, into the back air, trying to get a little bit more of the down tilt, but thankfully LRA started to get out of that pretty uh, easily. But look at Diddy's, Diddy's movement is stupid! Yeah, yeah, the, the last set we were, we were commenting about Peko, Doing a lot of monkey flips in the corner while and just pressuring people, right? Especially if they don't have great out of shield options. Um, that's the thing you kind of bully characters with if you're Diddy Kong. Yeah, literally. Your movement, just compared to someone like Wolf, who is so uh, like wanting to stand near the ground and wanting to stay very grounded, it's you're basically just hopping circles around that character so wow. well. And look at that, even the air, Peko is just able to just follow through yeah. with that forward air and just call it a day. Or back yeah, air. yeah, 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 for, yeah. Forward air, banana. Yeah, and yeah. It's, now it's one of those things right now where it's like if you're already start, you need to stop the bleeding as soon as possible because Diddy Kong's one character that can just kind of bury you with the lead, right? Yep. Get hit by a couple banana pulls, get hit by a couple confirms, and now all of a sudden you're at 50%. Get command grab, like what the hell is going on? Dash attack. Now you're at 53%. This is terrible. You're literally lapped in percentage right now. Like your stock is, you just red lapped right over it. Trying to get the banana throw as well, but there's down throw. Trying to get a kind of back profile. here, but it's not enough. Low profile on, the, on that parry banana toss would have destroyed me. <laughs> what destroyed you? Just absolutely destroyed you. <laughs> horrendous. Take a shot in the bracket. <laughs> Shoutouts to Brooklyn. Uh, one, one day, I got you now. I'm 21 now. Brooklyn, it's over. If, when I walk to that venue, it's over for everybody. Yeah, please. Uh, yeah, but right now, yeah, ooh, yeah. LRA starts trying to hit a big play right now. Trying to call out some of these banana tosses, throwing out little reflectors. And, and, nice. And I, and I like the way, I, I like how you didn't really commit to the down smash because you didn't react to it. You know how some people don't react to something and they just throw out the option anyway? Yep. That was good discipline coming out from the LRA start. I mean, that's just what he's really good at, but I mean, like, that up smash coming in right there on the ledge and just kind of trapping LRA start in another unfortunate situation. Bennett is on hand, but that's going to be beaten out by the mon monkey flip again. Bennett up, up on deck and the grab into the back throw, but that's not going to be enough. Back air. I, yeah, I like going for the up situation because side B, you could definitely get punished really hard for that. With all this pressure that Ellie's trying to try to enforce in this space, but again, Diddy kind of wins out in these situations where you have all these places to kind of go around with and one yeah. random up tilt, and that's kind of. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was really good because what all LRA Start wanted to do was get something started with the forward air, was spacing it pretty pretty well, max spacing it mm -hmm. pretty properly. Um, and Pego called out the last one just with an up tilt, right? A little bit of a hurt box shift, slapping Wolf's hand away. Wolf's claw, excuse me. Right? Um, <laughs> Wolf's little toe beans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wolf's little metal claw syringes. Um, yeah, got smoked. See? There you go. Um. I go again, too. <laughs> Round PS2. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, like, I just... But again, Pego played, played that matchup just extremely well. 
we utilize, you utilize the space that PS2 does give you with that extra bit of platform space and the extra um, upper platform as well. You have all this space you kind of just run around with, and Wolf can't really contest it because I don't even think like a lot of Wolf's uh, up air, like up tilts don't really reach that platform in the first place of how tall it is. Mm -hmm. So again, Echo just kind of chilling out with all this extra space given to him. And again, like you were saying earlier, I already started trying to bait out these uh, these reflectors with to contest the banana. Yeah, and. Yeah, okay, and, and it seems like, you know, LR starts definitely off to a better start. Um, trying to get trying to get a stock early uh, with the Nair, Nair tech chases. Yep, oh, there you yep. go. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. and when you, whenever you see Wolves fishing for Nair like that, trying to get a hard knockdown on mid percents, like, they're never up to something honorable. <laughs> <laughs> this is not matchup here. Honorable. We are not seeing something honorable. We're seeing something nefarious. Honorable, honorable top tiers, dishonorable moves. You know what I mean? Even out. It's like Pembos. You know, yeah. Pembos out. It's all right. You know, honorable, dishonorable. It's okay. But it's the, ah! See what I mean? Yeah. Honorable top tiers, dishonorable situations. Like, what is that? Why would you do that? Why would we do that, actually? <laughs> like, I'm thinking about it. Bro just wanted to try to get the ledge hang was going on for a little bit too long. You lost your iframes. And then uh, Banana to down there. I've seen it, but right there, it was really funny. Yeah. Uh, it was perfect. Mm, it was miss perfect. Spaces slightly. Oh, my gosh. That was literally, like, pixels. Okay, just trying to get... Oh, there we go. Finally, my fault. I ate my words. I literally started wanting to shut me up. Yeah. Got the spacing completely correctly for uh for that hit right there. And yeah. a complete reversal of what happened in game one, right? Where we saw Peko being the one in the dominant lead, a whole stock lead in fact, but now we have LRA Star kind of, you know, putting in the work to get himself this really sizable lead against him. Yeah, and and I think just LRA Star got off to a quicker start this this game than game one. And also I feel like they're throwing out a lot less forward air and neutral and trying to force that interaction. And focusing more on just getting the hits that matter. So I've been seeing a lot of Nairs hit. A lot of Nairs in the tech chase. A lot of Nairs just like jumping, trying to catch the full hops. Yeah, and using the laser a little bit a, a little bit longer uh, or a little more often just to get, you know, Peko off of him for a little bit long, for a little while. Because you know that Peko wants to come in real close, wants to jump in with an arrow, wants to jump in with back, and wants to jump in with forward air. And that's exactly what LRA Star is stuffing out with these low lasers with his own arrow as well. Get the grab into the fourth throw, into the F-toe as well. Love that use of all the protects yep, right there, and getting the Nair gets off the bit arrow, but that might be enough. It's not. That was a great. That was great <laughs> resource management coming out there from Peko. It's keeping the jump going really low with the Diddy Kong um, up B. And, that was so, just so close, but slightly missed base, a little bit too late as well. This is Larry's are another perfect yeah. back throw, taking it right there. Almost 193 percent after the hit. My God. Hey, and going off the top. Off the top. Yeah, well, all but, because the other side of the stage too, like hello? Yeah, see, and, and now and now it's a stock. I I actually love that confirm. Cause it's like when you get hit by that, that's definitely your fault. <laughs> 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 like like it, I love like, how real you are. It is your fault, Pecco. <laughs> like <laughs> no, like some sometimes you get, when you get hit it's like, oh man, that was that was questionable. That was like Soft, soft nair, tech chase, miss tech, down smash, BGs, like, eh. Uh, BGs, <laughs> immediate BGs. Can't, 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 can't be no tech this year, bro, come on. Come on. But. That's on you, Pekko. Yeah, you heard but, that? Yeah, it is, man. Everybody, everybody knows it. Wolf, Everyone Wolf, knows it? Wolf, Wolf, Wolf is at top tiers. Like, when you get hit by someone, Wolf does, like, yeah, that's definitely my fault, bro. Like, I'm sorry. Like, my absolute <laughs> bad. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to load the game today. My fault, my fault. Yeah, but, um, but, but honestly, good, but good stuff by, um, by LRA start um, was being a, a lot, a lot more patient and throwing out bigger hip boxes in general. So yeah. we, we saw a lot in air usage, way more than game one. I feel like. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you, I rarely ever saw that kind of space take. You know, LRA start trying to take up as much as much space as he can as Wolf against the Diddy Kong. But in game two, it just worked out beautifully, and I'm hoping we can see another, another kind of lead from that moment on. But Peko camping over to Hollow Bastion, an excellent stage for Diddy for that middle platform as well. But if Elder Shark keeps his edge guard up, it's not going to matter. Actually, you neutral get up to get Peko off him for a little bit longer. Yeah, I, I guarantee you that uh, if Peko uh, gets, goes off stage one more time, um, Elder Shark will do the down smash again. Oh, he will. Hey. Oh, 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 down air? Yeah. It, it, it works? Yeah, it, it works. 
Um, and th and the, thing, the thing about that is, is just LR Start has been trying to mix up the timings with Upbeat, mm -hmm. and I feel like maybe Petko has kind of caught on to that. So I think we might see a little bit more Wolf Flash I'm going back to the ledge. I uh, don't know about the Wolf Flash, but I do hope he does it because it's a very nice and flashy move to end off with. But I think it might be a little, a little safer, at least for now, with such a deficit. Post flash deficit isn't able to get any of these confirms. Even the Usman is not able to take it off the top. Uh, again, same Blast Zones as FD essentially. So with good DI, Pekko is going to be leaving those a little bit longer. Oh, yeah, you can't punish. Yeah, yeah. Hey, bro. You can't punish yeah, like that. You can't, you can't punish Wolf Forest Smash like that. You can't punish that move. Oh, you would like <laughs> <laughs> this honorable move. You can't do all that. Hey, come on, come on. This honorable move, dishonorable punish. Dishonorable <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> punish. <laughs> it's an honorable move. That's, True combo. That's crazy. Oh, man. But again. Gain that second stock, really good for LRA Star to get this back to a more even playing field. But we are going in with the aerial footsies over here, sure hopping into the back here. I think he's taking Peko a little bit of, to a little bit of a lead right here, positioning wise. That center platform, that center area is gonna be so good for him with Banana in hand yeah, as well. Oh, yeah, nice Wolf Flash. Yeah, yeah, Wolf Flash, yeah, because Peko's catching that time into the up beat, lining it up with the banana and LRA Star's like, nah, not, not again. Oh. <laughs> That's oh, a trade. That, that's that's a something. That's a trade. I, it's it's trade. not it's not a very honorable one, but it's a trade. Uh, it's, I don't even know who. The it's a replay. Uh, the the designers either on one of them or Nintendo, but either way, it's still dishonorable. Why that? Okay, Nintendo, okay. you got it. I'm just gonna say Nintendo. Yeah. Because they closed the eShop, so yeah. I hate them right now. Yeah. Pre pre uh, press one if you're hyped for uh, um, Dolphin coming to Steam. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the game at hand. It's even right now, ladies and gentlemen. Wolf is just attempting to take up some kind of space. Loving the forward airs, loving the uppers as well. But we need to use a little more of those nares like we did in game two to get Peko off of us. Peko using nice, Ooh. nice just forward air back airs just to just take out space. And this would be a good edge guard right, right here. And the edge guard was so good, he didn't touch him once. And you know what's crazy? Ellery start committed to picking up that banana so hard that Peko was like, okay, that means you can't mash back. So that means I'm going to mash forward air until you die. <laughs> and it worked. Look at this. Yeah. You can't do anything. Yeah, because you have banana. What, you are you going to mash an air on landing? Impossible. <laughs> you have banana in your hand. You have banana in your hand. That's on you. That was an actually on you moment. <laughs> That's on you. Outplayed <laughs> by the game mechanics. Yo, yo, outplayed. You have an item in your hand. But, but in all seriousness, though, the, like item characters, like especially, especially like the good ones, when they know that you have their item, and they understand, they're like, okay, well, you can't have, you can't commit an action out of this now. And now you're you you kind of committed to that. It's like dang. Yeah, but no, but the, that, but the th no, yeah, no, I'm not. But the thing is, he's just like, yo, he's just like, yo, I got banana. I can do anything. <laughs> I'm out here, stupid, <laughs> stupid. Let me recover. Yeah, and bro. it did not. <laughs> Let's see your death. Yeah. Hey, but I'm um, good. Stuff.